the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. decision that time he just caught it and got rid of it because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately so he took the r the run out of the play he took the o the option out of the play and immediately got to the pass six yards the pick up and that's a first down a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game first down kansas city They go play action. Now Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Man, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Second and 10. At the 30-yard line. To throw on second down is Smith. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And it's straight. It's Pacheco. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. No receivers open, so he's forced to put that one into Puget Sound. That's a great job defensively blanketing on the receivers, and ultimately, a smart hey, idea three, by him three. just to get the ball out of there. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. Here's Walker to start the drive. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Out of the gun, Smith. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Had to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Check 58. 
Throwing on third down, Smith. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. Inside the 10, and nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. First down and goal to go at the three-yard line. They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Throw left side complete. That's Watson. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Justin Watson from three yards out. And the Chiefs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Harrison Butker at a kickoff for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Geno. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Now Geno on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Anytime they think they've got him over beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Smith going to move him around. Now Gino. Has it complete to Jackson Smith and Jigba. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Geno down to throw. They'll set up the screen to Dallas. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Now a second and two. Now they'll change things up. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And the Chiefs are going to get him. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. From the gun on third down, Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith rolling to his right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Chiefs are going to get the football back at their own 17. 
He got outside the pocket there trying to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open. But I think the quarterback spotted him too late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, that one caught by Rice. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. Mahomes now to throw. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16. And It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Steel City at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And wow, a gamble here right off the bat, an onside kick to begin the game. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. Well, there's two sides to every coin. You come on the road, you get the onside kick to start the game. What a boost, but you don't get it. And now your back's against the wall a little bit. You're exactly right. You nailed it perfectly. And so many ways to go at it when you're on the road. You think to yourself, well, if we start on defense, we blitz them early, try and create a big play. If we start on offense, we throw the big pass downfield. In this case, they said, forget all of that. Let's do it on special teams and try and catch them off guard with an onside kick. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Shifts by him. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Jay Watt buries it 
Brings in for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Justin Watson. 27 yards. And the Chiefs use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Everybody likes to see the long ball thrown, but when you throw it underneath and you see someone catch the ball, secure it, make their moves, and then turn it into bigger plays, that's a lot of fun to watch as well. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Pickett's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Pickett to throw on first down. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Second and ten. He was defended by Brian Cook. Back to throw. Pickett. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And the Chiefs will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45. I ain't tripping, this is easy, easy. Got him excited to meet me, meet me.